Welcome to the Learning Design Elements and Illustrator video series. This video contains an introduction to Adobe Illustrator CC 2019. If you have CS6 or earlier, you can check out my previous set of videos on this topic. I'll be covering how to open the program, how to create a new page, and the layout of all the different parts of your Illustrator window. This video series goes with the Learning the Elements through Illustrator unit at digitalartteacher.com. Each of these pages we will create will correspond with a different element of design. And if you're interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, check the description below. I suggest that you watch each video completely and then come back and work through the tasks presented through the video. At the end of the video, I'll give specific instructions on what you need to have completed before you move to the next one. All right, so to start out, we have to open the program. Right now, you'll see that I have the desktop open and I am on a Mac computer. So the shortcut commands that I give will be for a Mac computer. There are several ways to open up the program. The easiest way to open it on a Mac is to do command space and start typing Illustrator, and it should show up. You can press Enter if it is the first one listed, and it will begin to open. If you're on a PC computer, there is likely a search bar there as well, but that shortcut will probably not work. When you open the program, you will see this home screen. Above, you have templates for some standard sizes, and below you can see all the things that I have recently had open. If you've never opened the program before, then this will likely not have anything in it. Today, we're going to choose a letter. This is just a regular eight and a half by 11 size paper, but all of these other options are available for future projects. Once you click, it will open a letter sized document. And we're going to go ahead and save this, although you don't strictly have to do this right away, it is a good practice to save your work before you begin. That way you don't have to worry about it later. Give your project a suitable name. Place it in whichever folder that you need to place it in. And click Save. And Illustrator gives you a lot of specific options to save. You can just click OK. The default settings will work fine for us. When you open Illustrator for the first time, it will look something like this. You will have an Illustrator menu bar. The menu bar is something that you see in every program or application that you use. And in Illustrator, it contains everything from panel options to page layouts to special effects all around the board. Most things can be found in the menu bar. The application frame is basically this whole window. This is your frame. All of the work and all of the panels and all the tools are available here in the window. You can change your view to an application bar, and the bar means that your document window can be moved independently of your bar, and the bar just stays here forever. I can't move that. It's a choice of preference of what you like, whether you like to have the bar or the window. This could be helpful if you have other things like a web page you're trying to look at here, but you want to have all of your tools. But I do like to have the frame. I just feel like it makes it a cohesive whole to have it as a whole frame. Personal choice, you choose which one and change it to whichever one you want. The toolbar, of course, is over here and it contains tools. These tools help you create graphics, artwork, pages, and so on. These tools are also grouped together. So if you see this tiny little triangle at the corner, you can click and hold and find more tools for the one that is selected. And we'll look into a few of these tools later in this video series. The control panel is this bar across the top. When you first open Illustrator, you may not see this bar. If you want it, you can go to control to turn it off or to turn it back on. This is something that was in the older versions of Adobe Illustrator, and it's just something that I like to have. It shows you the options available for the object that you have selected. So 
I have a line right here, so it's showing me that I can fill it or I can give it a stroke, a thicker or a thinner outline and all the relevant options for this object. And if I were to create some text, then you will see the option bar change. So now that I have text, I can also give it a stroke and a fill color. Changing the color will just change the text color. And I can change the font. I can change the size. I can change the orientation of the text. So all of that is here in the control panel. The things that are happening up here are similar to what you'll see if you have the properties panel open. The properties panel just gives you a preview of what you can do with the object that you have selected. So both the option bar and the properties will give you similar options. Again, it's just a personal preference, a little bit more detailed in the control panel than it is in the properties panel. Which leads me to panels. All of the things over here are panels and you can customize what you put over here with your panels. Panels will help you monitor and modify your work and they can be grouped, stacked, or docked. So if I click on these, you'll see all of the panels that I currently have over here with my panels section. These are all the panels that you have available to you. And if I were to click one, then I could add CSS properties over here if I wanted to. It could have a bar of its own. And if you don't want this here anymore, simply pull it out and away, and there it is, a floating panel, and you can exit out. So I can pull out, get rid of, rearrange, and replace anything that I want to in this panels section. and I change too much, then I can come down here to reset and it will put everything back the way that the default is. So that's a helpful thing to know. This workspace section here is helpful so that you can set your panels to something specific to what you're working on, specifically for painting or if you wanna use text, then maybe your typography workspace would be best. You can play around with these, but go ahead and switch it to Essentials Classic, and that will give you this bar across the top and all the essential tools that you'll need for this video series. The last thing we'll talk about is the document window. That is the space where your work actually lies, this whole square here. You can have multiple windows open, so I can open up a few at the same time, and as I open them, you'll see that they pop up there in tabs. Just like a web page. But if you want to view more than one, then you can come up here to arrange documents and you can play around with what the different views will give you. So I can view all four at once in tiny tabs or in squares. Or if I want to bring it back, then I can always click the default. So to recap the tasks for this video, you'll need to open and save your first Illustrator document, play around with the different panel settings in your program, and then return the settings to Essential Classic by going to Window, Workspace, and Reset, and then label the different parts of your Illustrator window with the Illustrator Parts Worksheet. And don't forget this video is part of the Digital Art Teacher learning the elements through Illustrator unit. To get more resources for this video, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn how. And I'll see you in the next video.